Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build a Walmart semi-trailer truck. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to show you how to build the rig and the trailer combined, and that's what it looks like if they're separated and detached. And you may remember I made a tutorial on a semi-trailer truck before, but I didn't show you how to build the trailer because I didn't like figure out the design for it yet. So as you can see in this new truck, it's a little bit taller, both the trailer and the rig. It's like a slab taller, so it is an updated design. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we do, we take uh, gray wool and we're going to make the wheels. So should place that down, skip two blocks in the middle, place another down, and these are the front wheels. And we're going to take a quartz slab, add that in the front of the wheel. And we're going to take five quartz slabs in the back, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then let's connect it together in the back. And in the front, we're going to have two stone brick slabs like this. On top of that is the bedrock for the grill. And uh, quartz stairs on the sides of it, like that. And one behind it that curves um, outwards like this. Then behind it, we're going to have one that curves like this inwards. And those are like two different stairs. So those are back to back. And behind that is three upside down quartz stairs. And once we do that, we could take a quartz block, add it in the middle. And let's add some more stone brick slabs down here. So that we have a floor. And let's add some more quartz slabs right here on top of the bedrock. On the sides, we're going to add a skeleton skull for some mirrors. We're also going to add um, a sign right here for our license plate. And up on the cab, we need to add more quartz blocks. So it's going to have like a 2 by 3 right here. In the back section, both sides is pretty much the same thing. It is symmetrical there, and then fill in this middle part as well. And for the next layer, we're going to have uh, quartz stairs in the middle, like this, so that we have room for that little window, which I think is where uh, they sleep in there. So I'm going to add uh, two black walls in there. And let's add a quartz block row behind it, and another one on top. Then we would have uh, quartz stairs, a row in front of that. And the next row is quartz. Yeah, just a quartz block and then quartz slab on top of it. And the next one is going to be quartz block and yellow concrete two of them like that it shows like the Walmart logo it's like a, a little I don't even know what to call it like a ray of sunshine that's why I think it is and then a quartz slab row right there and then we're gonna add the windows so this is black stained glass paint just wrap it around like this and below that we'd add a border wall of quartz like that in front of that little two quartz blocks like that all right so now let's add the side view mirrors which is our nether bricks fences like so and below that is a lever to connect it to the body and next to it is a stone button and we can also add the stone button to the wheel as well all right so then we're going to add these little antennas on the sides i have it on both sides so it really is symmetrical. Just add two of them like that, both sides. And yeah, let's add this uh, back section now. So that's going to be another brick slab, and we're going to have a two by four. So two, four, six, eight. <laughs> two by four. And then add our back wheels, which is a gray wall, skip a block, add another pair. And we can have a black banner on the back of this for our mud flaps and stone buttons on the sides of the wheels. 
All right, so that's how you build the rig. Now let's build uh, the trailer. So for the trailer, uh, we're just gonna extend where the top of the rig is. So just skip a block and add a quartz right here. And it's gonna be 24 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I messed up there or something like that. Alright, for the trailer, we're just going to go to the top of the rig, skip a block, and then add a quartz on the very top so it should be aligned. And it's going to be 24 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 24. And then we're just going to make it four blocks wide and go back across. Then let's fill in the middle of the roof like this. And after we do that, we're going to add a layer of carpet, which is light gray carpet on top. No, that's just how they do it. Like they have a darker color on top. Maybe it's because like all the like dirt that gets up there, and you don't have to really clean it because you don't see it. Or maybe that it's a different color material. All right. So after we do that. We're gonna have um, let's add the logo in the back. So we're gonna have uh, yellow concrete on this side, and below that is two light blue concretes. Then we're gonna add a quartz around it and a row of quartz underneath, and under that acacia with slabs on the sides like that, and then on the inner part we're gonna have. Uh, two upside down stone brick stairs facing each other like that and that's going to connect to this little barrier which is an iron trap door which is four blocks wide and that's to prevent cars from going under I think and let's have a sign right here for a license plate or something like that all right so now um, we'd go to the front and add um, two light blue concrete blocks in the middle and around it we'd add quartz add another row of quartz and then we're going to have a uh, black wool on both sides at the bottom of it like so and that's going to be some kind of identification number and uh, yeah let's add this little part that connects it to uh, the rig so we're going to have two quartz, I mean not quartz, gray concrete blocks like that in between the wheels and stone slabs on the outer edge. And that's going to be four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe I did it wrong. Okay, add one right there. And in the front, yeah, it wraps around. So I guess this is a whole entire thing you can fill it in with the stone slab and right after it is going to be um, quartz stairs on the outer edge like that and another one over here and then we're going to have this section so that's going to be 11 blocks of quartz so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 I'm just going to line up the other side the same thing and another quartz stairs right there and then this back section we're just going to extend it so that it reaches uh, the back so just take our stone slab go across and we have our back wheels here so we need to add that so how are we going to do that? we're going to take uh, gray concrete go where the stairs is and right after it we'd have a 3x3 three three, I think then underneath it, we would have uh, 
stone brick slabs. Another two by three. And then our um, our wheels. So that's going to be uh, gray wool blocks with stone buttons on it, both sides. <clears throat> then we're going to add our mud flap in the back of it, which is a different color. <laughs> gray banner. So after you do that, let's add some more. I think this part is stone slab. Oh, yeah, it is. So let's fill in this part, stone slab. And this middle part, we can actually just fill in with stone slab as well. All right, so we're done with that part. Now let's add um, this thing over here. So you see where this stairs is. We're going to have quartz wall that goes all the way up like that right above the stairs and everything in the front of it we're going to fill in with quartz and then we're going to add another column of quartz after this I think the Walmart logo is flipped so um, one side's going to have the yellow first so we're going to have that I don't know what it is the bursts of yellow like a yellow star almost like that Okay, so and then we're gonna go to the other side. And this time we're gonna have the middle of these two wheels. So in the middle, add quartz a wall that goes all the way up, fill in the rest. And the other side we do the same thing. So now let's add our yellow star on this side. And let's add quartz in <laughs> in between all those parts. And add a column of quartz after it, like this. And in this case, it's before. Alright, so now we're going to have the Walmart logo. So the Walmart. Um, this bottom row, we're actually going to fill in with quartz. We don't need that. We only need that for the yellow part. So we're going to have to copy this design so it's like that. Go down diagonal and then make an L shape, I guess. And then an upside down L shape. Like this. And then a right side up L shape. So that's how I would describe it. It's probably like the worst explanation. So a diagonal down and then an L shape and then a um an upside down L shape, I guess, and then a right side up L shape. Yeah. And let's fill in the quartz in the middle of all that. And fun fact, Walmart is actually, I think, the most profitable company in the world. All right, so let me check if everything's good because I did a tutorial before and then I forgot something. All right, so I forgot this part. Good thing I looked. So we're going to take dark oak wood fence gate, add that um, right underneath where the stairs is in the front of the trailer. And this is the part where... Um, the legs come out like there's like a little stand. Um, if you are going to detach it, uh, you just change this to um, a regular fence instead of a fence gate. So this is what it looks like when it's like raised, I guess. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build a Walmart semi-trailer truck in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, remember to hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.